Right now, in two kilometer, five kilometer, and 10 kilometer eggs, shiny Larvesta is available for the first time ever. Larvesta is the hardest Pokemon to hatch in the entire game. And now that the shiny is available, that probably makes it the hardest shiny to get in Pokemon Go. And of course, I gotta have it. So I'm gonna be going around today, hatching a bunch of eggs, and hopefully getting that amazing new shiny. And here we are, hatching one of the other rarest Pokemon in the game, Salandit, right there. Very nice. Hatching 12 kilometer eggs to get these out of the way so we can stack up on the new event eggs. Just has the Pancham right there, which is an incredibly rare shiny that I still don't have. And there's another one. Okay. And what do you know? This is a female Salandit, which is the other hardest Pokemon to hatch in the entirety of Pokemon Go. This this is huge. I've only done this a handful of times ever. Great egg luck right there. So very happy about that. IVs aren't that crazy and the pan champs aren't great either, but it's all good. That's a beautiful start for us. Now, Shiny Larvesta is a crazy surprise. I didn't think we were going to be getting that anytime soon because it's such a rare Pokemon and we got it. It's debuting with the brand new Scorching Steps event, which is live in Pokemon Go right now. And with that new event is this new time research where I have to hatch one, two, three, four, five eggs for six encounters start us and XP, I'm down. And fortunately, we're done with it. So we can go ahead and claim all the rewards right here. What is it going to be? Oh, Slugma, which is another shiny Pokemon that is available with this event. And I believe shiny Slugma and probably this next Pokemon, yes, Litleo are shiny boosted with this event. So if you guys need a shiny Slugma or a shiny Litleo, which are both really, really nice shinies, go grind this event because they have boosted shiny odds right now. And I believe those might be the encounters for this entire research. It is. We got a Slugma. I don't know why the background changed. I haven't moved, but let's go ahead and grab have this bad boy and here we go hatching two five kilometer eggs getting these out of the way as well i don't think that's a scrub i don't think these are event eggs so let's just hatch them get them out of the way quick iv check sableye and scrub no good since those just hatched i'm actually going to spin some stops right now and get some of those new event eggs so we can take a look at them give me that and here they are. This is an event two kilometer egg. Larvesta is in its own rarity, but it's available and it's one of five options. I like those odds in the two kilometer egg pool. In the five kilometer egg pool, Larvesta again in its own tier and there's only five options, except for the fact that this is gonna take longer than a two kilometer egg and it's the same kind of rarity. So two kilometer eggs are broken right now. If they're the same rarity and the same hatch probability and they're easier to hatch, I need some twos. And here's the 10 kilometer event egg where we have Larvesta, Turtonate, and Charcadet, three very rare Pokemon right there, but Larvesta in the only rarity out there. Obviously, this egg is gonna take longer to hatch, but you got some good odds right there. I'm still trying to get some eggs out of the way, but in the meantime, why not? Let's hatch that one kilometer egg. Let's hatch that five. Let's hatch that 10. Is that a helicopter above me? We got these incubated, so we'll get moving, but I wanna mention the bonuses for this event. We have two times hatch candy, so we're gonna get a lot of candies today, which is great, and half hatch distance. So these eggs are gonna pop a lot quicker. Imagine a two kilometer egg with a super incubator and this bonus. Those will pop super quickly. I need more of those. But we got to keep things moving. So let's just do this time research on the go. There's a Lit Leo, not another shiny. And our final check on stage one is a not shiny Slugma. I don't even know if there's a stage two, to be honest. I guess we're going to find out together here. Let's go ahead and claim this right now. 1,500 dust, 2,000 XP, and an encounter. Please be something good, not just Slugma. And Lit Leo, oh, it's a Turdinator. The Turdinator is an awesome Pokemon. Still very tough to get. And a really great shiny that I still don't have. But as we saw it's in a 10 kilometer egg pool i have 10 kilometer eggs going so maybe we'll get one soon and here's a random event research task it's a slugma oh man okay i guess that's it for the time research that was quick it's only hatch five eggs it's not too difficult and you have four days to do it so nice also wild noibat how we doing what's up let's get some iv checks on those research pokemon we just caught right there and those are the five kilometer eggs uh Absolutely nothing. Okay. I'm sure you guys are curious. Here is my Larvesta collection. I have two of them all time. This is one random one from last month or a few weeks ago. And then this is my Volcarona, which is a really tough Pokemon to obtain. And I only have one. Don't forget, it takes 400 candies to evolve Larvesta. And it's already the hardest Pokemon to get. And it takes 400 candies on top of that. So make sure you're hatching during this event because that double hatch candy is huge. Just to kind of show you how rare Larvesta is, I've only hatched six of them all time and I've hatched thousands of eggs in my life. As a matter of fact, I've hatched 12,408 eggs and I only have six Larvesta. So for those of you out there that are like, Larvesta's not that rare, it's not that rare. Uh, yeah, it is. Ooh, a suing Growlithe spawn. That's a great shine to hunt. And here's a Binacle. Wow, a lot of rare spawns right now. You know what? Since we're walking around so much, I'm gonna pop the Daily Incense. If I get something cool, if I don't, whatever. But you never know. We got a Jigglypuff, so, you know, the luck's coming in hot. There's a Ralts on the Daily Incense. We got a Weather Boost of Wind, by the way, so... 
maybe those Galarian birds are gonna come out and play today. As you can see, I do have a Zapdos flying around with me, so we're definitely bringing the vibes. Also, there's a Beldum Raid right on top of us, and it's an amazing rare Pokemon. I'm gonna hop in and do this, because you never know. This has nothing to do with this event, but I'm never gonna pass up the opportunity on a free one-star in-person raid. So, especially if it's gonna be a Beldum, hello. Let's take this thing down, bada bing, bada boom. Just like that, down it goes, 656. I don't know if that's good. We'll have to find out together. Got some good stuff, 20 bowls, imagine. That would be a random shiny. 656, weather boosted Beldum right here, nice. Down it goes, 656, not great but it was worth a shot, why not? And here we go, this is our first event egg. Ladies and gents, Slugma. Not the Larvest that we were looking for at all, but that's our first event egg, whatever. It also got two research tasks done, another Slugma, and what do you know, another Slugma, okay. Wait a second, wait a second. Oh, event kilometer, event five kilometer egg hatch right there. He's suing Growlithe, great hatch. <laughs> oh, it's the worst one possible, isn't that funny? 10, 10, 10, that is the worst IV you could possibly get from an egg. And of course we got that today, because why not? Noi bat on the daily is crazy. What is going on today? Anyways, I know Shiny Larvesta is the star of this event, the star of this video, the star of this hunt. But speaking of really rare shinies that have tough evolutions, how about we evolve a shiny Hisuian Sneasel? If you guys haven't seen this video, we got it a few weeks ago. Out of the research breakthrough, by the way, and that was my first research breakthrough shiny in five years. Pretty historic moment for me, to be honest. But here is Shiny Sneasel, and it has has really good IVs and I finally walked seven kilometers with it as my buddy so we can evolve it for the first time ever and we're gonna do that right here right now what better video right rare shiny tough evolution great shiny by the way here is shiny Hisuian Sneasler in Pokemon Go wait why is the background black wait what did they fix that did they change that what was that about oh my gosh the background's back to black remember that they changed the background to like this really really bright white and as you can see right now we are evolving with a like blackish blue background which looks way better by the way the Pokemon stands out a lot more in my opinion, but that is amazing. I don't know if my game is glitching out or if they reverted to the old ways, but this looks so much better. Let me know in the comments if you guys have this. This is great. Wait a second, event egg, event egg. Slugma. And here's the hatch three eggs task. Reward is a Turdinator, hello. Let's go ahead and grab this 923. That could have been shiny, but that's a great catch, like I mentioned earlier. Also boosted Slugma. I've checked many of them in every single way today and absolutely nothing so far. Oh my gosh. I thought this was an Articuno. <laughs> that is an Alola Sand Slash, which is technically a really rare spawn. It's a great spawn. It's cool to find in the wild, but that is, that scared me. You don't see it often at all. Also, there's an Aloma Lomola. What is happening today? IV check on the Turdinator, by the way. It's not great. But if you guys are like me and do want to hunt for Shiny Turdinator as well, it's available in the brand new event, Hatch Three Eggs Task. And that'll get you a Turdinator, which is Shiny eligible. And then Hatch One Egg is Slugma. Hatch Two Eggs is Litleo. Good luck with that. Here we are hopping in on Sierra, randomly, by the way. I want Shadow Shiny Trapping, so let's give it a shot. Either way, if I hatch a Shiny Larvesta today, I am going to continue to try to hatch as many eggs as possible throughout the rest of this event because because this event, this four day period, is the best opportunity you will ever have to get Shiny Larvesta. It's your best chance to hatch it. It's your best chance to get the Shiny. Good luck to everybody out there. And of course, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are hatching eggs and how lucky you guys are getting or not getting. The hard thing about hatching eggs is the GPS actually working and tracking your steps correctly because I've been here for over an hour and a half and I've only hatched like a handful of eggs, if that. I drove around, got no progress. I don't know what's going on. My GPS has always sucked really bad bad and it makes hatching eggs extra difficult because you can walk eight kilometers and you're gonna get like one and a half it's not fun if you guys have any tips for hatching eggs let me know in the comments not a shadow shiny not good but we have a lot more eggs to hatch we're not done yet here we are hatching an event egg it's a two kilometer and it's a slugma not shiny but I do have some shiny news let's IV check this really quick slugma is a three star whatever okay but look what I just go plus a shiny glamiao full odds shiny glamiao on the Pokemon go plus it is a Zero star, of course. But it's a new shiny in the collection. GG's Pokemon Go Plus always hooking it up with a shiny Glamio this time. Honestly, a very nice shiny and not a common one. It's my fourth one ever, but it's a great shiny to get. I'm glad I got it. Let me know if you guys got one. Love to see that, but we still have some more eggs to hatch, so we're not done yet. Here we go. Eight 10 kilometer eggs and an event five kilometer egg. Can we get some shiny action here? There's a Tyrant. Egg number two is a Larvesta. Not a shiny, but that is a Larvesta out of 10 kilometer eggs. I think that was actually 
actually an event on Kilometer Egg. Another one is another Larvesta. Okay, we're seeing them. We're getting that double hatch candy. 47 candies right there. Come on, Egg 4. Amora. All right. Not bad. I'm happy we got some Larvesta today. There's a Turdinator, not a shiny. Here's a definite 5 kilometer event egg. It's a Lilio. Come on, Egg Luck. I've hatched rare shinies before. There's a Gumi. Still got a couple more on the way here. 10 kilometer eggs going down. Carbink. That's not an event egg. And that'll do it for the hatches. Carbink is a three star. Tyrant, two star. Litleo, three star. Turdinator, two star. Ooh, solid IV Larvesta. Probably my best one ever, actually. Very nice. And we got another one. Not the greatest IVs. A three star Gumi. A horrible Amora. And that's it. I'm not going to lie. We got two Larvestas today. I like those odds. GG's. The shiny Larvesta hunt will continue. Good luck to everybody out there hatching those eggs. This is your best chance to get it. Get out there, start hatching, and have a good time. Speaking of good times, if you guys haven't seen my last couple of adventures, check them out because they have been very, very good times.